Why, hello there. So blue and orange are two of my favorite colors to combine together, which is how I came up with this look. And in case anyone is wondering, this blue bandage is on my wrist because I still have carpal tunnel, and this helps to make my wrist feel better. If you'd like to see how to get this blue and orange makeup look, then please keep on watching. Good morning to all. It has been a long time since I sat down and filmed a makeup tutorial for you guys, so I figured, why not start now? So I'm not entirely sure if I managed to put up my shopping adventures first, but in case I didn't, I have carpal tunnel in my right hand, which has made it very difficult for me to do makeup lately. But thankfully now, it has been feeling a lot better, so I am back doing makeup. And to prime my eyes, I'm using my Sephora Beauty Amplifier Primer. And for my eyes, I'm probably going to be using only these two palettes today. These are both from Juvia's Place. This is the Nubian 2 palette, which is one of my absolute favorites. It's absolutely gorgeous. Just look at the colors. Ooh, so pretty. And I'm going to be using the colors Morocco and Cleopatra today. And this one is called the Zulu by Juvia's. I love their artwork on the front, it's always so pretty. I'm probably just going to be using this one, and unfortunately this one does not have a name, but it's the only orange in the palette. <laughs> so first I'm gonna go into Cleopatra, which is the dark blue shade, and just put that all over my eye. I love how metallic this shadow is. Then once you have your color on there, you're just gonna wanna blend that out a little bit. I'm adding another layer of the color just to make it really super metallic. Now for my lower lash line, I'm taking my Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics pencil, and this is in the shade Grandma, which is a beautiful orange. I'm just going to line my lower lash line and in my waterline. And I like to smudge that out before it sets just so it looks nice and smoky. And I'm going to be dipping into Morocco and using that to blend out Grandma. And then just repeat the process for the other side. Now because this simply isn't enough orange for me, I'm going to use this other shadow from the Zulu palette. And you're probably like, Heather, these oranges look pretty similar. Why are you using both of them? Well, this one is actually a little bit lighter, so just for fun. I'm going to throw it on my eyes anyway, because I can. Now for the eyeliner, I'm going to be using my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Then I use my Kat Von D Trooper eyeliner to make everything really sharp. Always very much a perfectionist about my eyeliner. <laughs> Time for the face. I'm using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. For some reason, the last, I'd say, oh gosh, probably a couple months now, I just have not wanted to get out of bed and do anything. Like in the morning I used to come, like I'm doing now, do my makeup before work, so I'd film a couple things for Instagram, I'd film a tutorial for YouTube, and I'd feel like I accomplished a lot because I got a lot done. But for some reason, the last couple of months, I'm like, you know what? It's not that important. Which, to be in all honesty, it's it's not really that important. It's important if I want to keep putting up content for Instagram and YouTube. But I was just like, you know what? I would rather sleep the extra two hours or so than do my makeup, which was fine. So I've been doing that. And just, I, I haven't felt good. You know, I'd usually wake up earlier and then go back to sleep for another couple of hours, and I just felt awful when I woke up. I don't know if it was because I woke up at a bad time during my REM cycle or what, but I kept doing it thinking, maybe if I sleep a little bit longer, I'll feel better about it. Today I was like, you know what? I know I'm gonna get up and feel like I wanna just go back to bed, but I should get up and just do makeup. And so far, I'm, I'm pretty glad I did. <laughs> I'm using my brand new Fenty Beauty foundation in shade 120 and my Beauty Blender. And I know a lot of people are complaining about Instagram's new algorithm and how their posts aren't being seen as much anymore. Engagement is also down, but I'm not entirely sure if I can blame the algorithm or not. I just feel like my work has not been where I'd like it to be in terms of like quality and consistency. Because I used to post every single day. I don't know how I did it when I first started doing Instagram. Like I would just get up, do makeup every single day, and I would have stuff posted every single day. And I worked and you know, did everything else, so I don't know how I managed to do that. But now it just seems like such a huge task and I hate that because I love makeup so much. I never wanted it to feel like a job and now it's like a job. <laughs> but I think that was another reason why I was like, okay, I'm just gonna step back, not do Instagram as much, not do YouTube as much. See if that makes me happier. In some way it has because I get to spend more time with my family, more time with my boyfriend, and that always makes me happier. 
but I miss creating things, I miss making things, I miss getting that feedback from you guys about, you know, you love my new lip art, you love my new makeup, so. My concealer is my Naked Skin Concealer, as you can see, I'm running out of it. This is in the shade Fair Neutral. I'm gonna do a little bit under my eyes. And for some reason, my skin has been really nice lately, which is so nice because whenever you have a nice, smooth canvas, your makeup always looks better. And then to make sure my under eyes don't crease, I'm just putting on some of my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Now for contour, I'm going to try out this tester that I got from Lancome. It's the Le Duo Contour and Highlight Stick in Ivory. So I'm taking the contour side, which is nice and cool, and just putting that on my face. And then I'm going to try to blend that out using a brush. See how that goes. Definitely a more naturalish contour. It looks nice. I like it. And just because that is a cream contour, I'm going to set it using my Sephora eyeshadow in Cashmere Coat very lightly. And this brush that I'm using is one of my favorite brushes to contour with. It's from OCC. I think I might do blue eyebrows today. It'll be fun. And I'm kind of surprised. I think the only like blue liquid lipsticks that I have are from Pretty Zombie Cosmetics, which is one of my favorites, and LA Splash, which is a beautiful metallic blue. I might wear this on my eyebrows and this on my lips, but we shall see. So I'm going to take the Sea Witch color from Pretty Zombie Cosmetics and an angled brush, also from OCC, and draw on my eyebrows. And for highlight, I'm using this Candy Corn Highlighter by OMFG Cosmetics. So now for my favorite part, I'm going to be putting on my lipstick, and this is Sea Witch from Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. And as you can see, I added my favorite blue wig. This is from Powder Room D. I'll leave a link in the description box so you guys can find them. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you had a very happy Halloween and a happy October. See you guys next time. Bye!